Okay, YouTube, my friends. Uh, I've been working hard on this platform that I've been building and uh, gotten quite a lot done. In fact, maybe I've neglected my recording duties here a little bit, but I think I can turn around and get you caught up with what's going on. Uh, you know, you guys, if you ever have any questions, feel free to leave them down there in the comments, and I'll be glad to a answer them for you if I can uh, on how I do something or, you know, if you've got a you know, question that I might be able to help you out out with, I'd be glad to try to answer it for you. So feel free. And uh, so here, let me get turned around. And I'll show you where we're going with this platform. Okay, guys. So I've got this uh, platform that I built. And uh, of course, you saw in the last video where I had gotten the top part built. But now I've, uh, I've gone and I've added these uh, legs to it and also this... Uh, step here and it's a you know it's a pretty good step because this is about a trailer as i told you before is like really close to 20 inches high off the ground and that's the whole purpose for the platform to start with is to uh, be up there on the level of the smoker to be able to work from it and so uh, you see here i've got this uh, it's uh, slightly over 13 inches wide this uh, step I happen to have a piece of expanded metal cut exactly that size, so I just kind of built the step to the expanded metal. And uh, I kind of wanted it a little wide, actually, because when I I was sitting there thinking about, you know, if you got a pan full of food, you're coming down off that top, you want to make it easy to hit the step. And uh, I got another little plan that I'll get to one of, the, one of these days uh, soon, very soon. Uh, as to what I want to do to help with that situation as well. And so I, I want to show you what I did up underneath here. So I'm going to stop the video for a second. I want to get this thing uh, put in its upright position so you can see what's going on there. And I'll be right back with you. Okay guys, so in this video, or in this clip, let's say, um, I'm getting ready to show you some of my work that I'm least proud of. Uh, I did some freehand drilling and uh, definitely did not turn out the way I wanted it to turn out. So uh, let me uh, let me just get the bad news out of the way and we'll go from there. Uh, you see here on these leg adjustments here, I did these freehand and they're definitely not very centered. And uh, especially if you look down here on this other end, that's some terrible work. But uh, it is functional. But I'm not gonna, and I'm not gonna redo them. Um, but it's definitely not what I wanted. But at the same time, it's gonna serve my purpose to be able to level this uh, frame. You know, this uh, wa uh, work. Uh, my neighbor called it a bandstand. But uh, at any rate, it's gonna allow me to get it leveled up. Now, and something else that I did here, you can see I, I gusseted this from the bottom. And I guess that's what I would call it. Well, I had originally intended on each end to gusset it out here from the side. In fact, I even, I even uh, welded a uh, pad here to make it even here with the uh, angle iron that's welded on here. But then I got to thinking better of it. And the reason why I'm not going to do it is because I can just see somebody coming down off of that and uh, trying to cut the corner and catching that gusset with their shoe foot and, uh, and taking a good spill. And who knows, it might even be me. And so uh, that's the reason why I thought better of it. And so, and so like, like I say here, you can see that I actually have this uh, adjustable so that I can take it up and down, you know, several places here. They're um, inch and an eighth on center is what I was working at. And um, so the uh, purpose is to, uh, no matter where I go, hopefully, you know, if, if the ground's halfway level, I'll be able to... Um, be able to uh, level this thing out and, and work from it and uh, so 
and so that's where we're at for now I'm getting ready to I'm going to put some uh, bottom gussets as well up underneath here to go from uh, you know the bottom the step area back to the main frame over here and that's both going to support the the walk area on top of the the um, the stand it's also going to help to support the step out here and give these uprights as when it's laid down when it's laid down these be uprights it's also going to give them support when when weight is put on the uh, step out there to keep it from trying to twist down or twist in and um, so that's what i'm getting ready to do right now and my goal is i would like to try if the weather holds out to and if the light holds out i would like to get the expanded metal put on both the step and the um, and the top of the stand there tonight and so that's what i'm working towards because tomorrow is supposed to be like a really crappy day and uh and i'd like to try to get this done sunday i gotta work on homework for school so most likely unless i get it done tomorrow when i'm when i'm rained out so to speak and uh, so that's where we're at and i'll keep going with this video because i've got a i got a little bit i got a, i got a few ideas here that i want to complete on this stand and i'll tell you it's the it, it's the little things that that complete the job and uh, i got a couple little ideas to go with this stand before i call it done and move on to the next project on, on the on the trailer so I will catch you here in a little bit and uh, see where we're at okay my YouTube friends it's Sunday April 23rd and I'm out here working on the smoker getting some good things done and uh, I'm gonna apologize already for the wind because it's uh, definitely kind of breezy out here today so let me get turned around. Let me show you what we got going on. Big things. Okay, I know it's a little hard to see with some of this, but uh, as of right now, I've got the uh, expanded metal all welded down on the top of the, it's on, obviously it's in the uh, running position right now, but uh, it's all welded down and uh, it's supported, it has supported earlier today. I'm going to say somewhere in the neighborhood of 450 to 500 pounds between myself and my next door neighbor at the same time. So I'm pretty happy with all that. And if you look right down there, there it, it's, it's not bent either. <laughs> so I've been laying down some pretty good welds today and um, got some elbows welded on here. And because I'm getting ready to accessorize this thing a little bit and uh, I've got the same thing down here at the other side and I don't want to spoil the surprise yet but you know got some decent welds going on here that uh, I won't cry too bad about because they look pretty decent and uh, so I'm gonna get the thing laid, laid down here in a few minutes I'm gonna do some painting on this and get this bare metal covered up with some primer before it rains on it again and um, makes it all the all the more harder to uh, keep a good paint job on the thing so making good progress today and uh, I've got to quit here shortly though because I got to go work on some homework for my college work so anyway here we are and uh, I'll be back in a couple minutes here and show you what's going on all right well guys ladies too when I say guys, it means everybody. Um, so I got the uh, expanded metal all welded down today and I ran out of primer. So I gotta get another can of primer. I did get the underside done. And uh, you can kinda see, maybe this will give you a hint as to where I'm going with this. Um, so at any rate, that's kinda what these uh, 90 degree elbows I made are for. Now uh, I don't want to spoil. I don't want to spoil the surprise, so I'm not going to tell you exactly what's going on here yet. So 
and I got the same thing going on here and um, um, we'll just get to that when we get there I'll show you all right thanks for watching stay tuned okay folks well I've been working hard tonight and I got I've got my stand complete now and uh, I told you I had a little surprise waiting for you to uh, show you uh, uh, where I was going with the stake holes that I had uh, welded onto each end of the uh, stand there. And so what I decided to do is uh, uh, give you a little surprise. And I told you that I thought that you, you know, I, um, let's put it this way. I thought that you folks would think that I would make some would, was making some guardrails on there. And I'll tell you that you are partially right. That was my original thought, but then I thought better of it and I decided to do something a little bit different and do a two for one job uh, or kill two birds with one stone. And so let me get turned around and I'll show you what we got going on here. Okay, so you can see that uh, I've got the stand, it's totally completed, painted, and everything. And what I did down here on these ends was make a couple end tables. And uh, so what I did was take some one inch angle iron, which I already had, uh, one inch by one inch angle iron. Um, let's see, it's uh, one inch, th inch thick. And then I took the, the expanded that's in here, is uh, flattened three quarter inch um, expanded metal. And so it's nice and flat, and it's leftover. It's actually leftover steel that I used for making the uh, the racks inside the smoker. And so I've got, you know, I just had it laying over here behind, and where I keep my excess steel for the time being, which in this case I really didn't have a plan for this uh, flattened steel yet, but there you can see nothing, you know, nothing scrap as long as it's got some size to it. Uh, nothing scrap because who knows what you might think of and end up using it for and so I rounded you know I didn't round but I cut off the corner here on this on the outer corner simply because I know somebody might you know wing themselves on the on the upper arm or something and walking by or actually it's on me it's about it's about elbow high but still you know walking by cutting the corner and and uh, you know sharp 90 degree bend and so I trying to trying to think ahead as I go along with this and you know uh, eliminate any foreseen you know pot potential for injury or anything like that and uh, so you know originally my thought was to put these uh, to make guardrails on the sides of this and then I just I don't know popped into my head and said why not make uh, why not make like end tables here and uh, on each side now the one on this side I will tell you it actually ha has to be clear if I want to open up the um, the right hand door here or except for clear out there at the end it, it will uh, it'll sweep it off when I will open up the door so um, you know when I go to work inside the smoker on that it's gonna have to be closed you know uh, clear it off now the other one over here it's far enough over it is really not gonna have a problem and another thing that I was thinking about in when making these uh, that brought my you know this is this is actually what brought it into my mind was a place to set down pans of food while I dismount the uh, stand there and not have to worry about not being able to see the step because I got pan, a pan of food right in front of me or something I get <coughs> excuse me I can set the pan of food onto the uh, table there or either side and then I can come down off the stand and then go back and pick up the food again and that way you know 
And that, like I said, trying to foresee the potential for, you know, injury or uh, dumping a big pan of meat, which gets real expensive real quick onto the ground. That would not be good, especially if we're talking brisket or something like that. Um, so there we go. The stand is complete except for painting. And I do plan on painting the stand and the trailer again, which has got quite a lot of primer on it too. I, I do plan on painting all of that uh, red. And I plan on using tractor paint, which is good heavy duty paint. Now I'm not under any illusion that the uh, treadway on this uh, stand is going to stay painted with use. It's just not gonna happen. But at the same time, uh, if it's being used regular, then it will also keep any rust off of it simply because it's wearing it off as fast as it's, you know, if, as long as it's being used. Um, so that's where we're at for now. Now then, uh, so this, as far as building is concerned, this uh, part of the project is complete. So what am I going to do next? Well, the very next thing that I want to do is to um, take the smoker there. You can kind of see that it's kind of got a uh, rusty looking tinge to it. And it's not really rust, it's overspray from, the, uh, from spraying the bottom of this uh, stand. And so uh, I bought some TSP, which is trisodium phosphate, which is a pretty heavy duty cleaner. And what I want to do is go ahead and clean uh, any of that overspray that will come off and also any oil or smoke off of the smoker itself where, you know, where it has leaked a little bit around the, uh, you know, especially like right across here. Um, um, and then up here at the top by the hinges and, and the, as well as the sides right here, you can see, you can see that I've actually been using this thing. And uh, so I'm gonna use the trisodium phosphate to clean all that off. Then what I want to do is take and hit it with the, uh, you know, the stove paint and get it nice and cleaned up again. And then uh, get it looking, you know, like a brand new smoker again. I'm also going to take some, uh, I'm also going to take some uh, silicone, high temperature silicone and seal up some of these places where the uh, smoke is leaking out a little bit and uh, see if I can't alleviate some of that. And uh, I'll do that right after I paint it again. Once I do that, then I may actually go ahead and try to season it just like I did the firebox over here. And uh, that will actually put kind of a, a uh, sheen to it. But one thing that I have noticed with the uh, firebox uh, is um, when it rains out here, the water beads on the top of that firebox just like a, a waxed new car does. You know how the uh, water beads on the top of a new car when it's got a good paint job, a good wax job on it. And, uh, <clears throat> so that's where we're at. And I just wanna, it's probably gonna be the end of this uh, video here because I've got to move, I got, I'm going to move on to the next part of this project and I'm going to leave you in a little bit of suspense but I got some big plans coming up. In fact if you look over here on the side I've got quite a stack of uh, one inch by one inch box steel which means I'm going to be making some more framing but uh, I'll, let, I'll, leave you, uh, I'll leave you thinking about that for a while. So I'm going to cut off on this one, and I'll tell you thanks for watching, and stay tuned. There's more to come.